Hi everybody, this is Joe Jurak coming to you from foggy California. I'm currently in Los Angeles and as I look out the window today, I see the thick, heavy, dense fog. It's not a steamed up window, it's just a heavy fog this morning. And often when I think about fog like this, I often think about the old cartoons of Scooby-Doo. So often than not, we would watch those old uh, cartoon shows and we would basically um, think about Scooby cutting through the fog with a knife. Being this close to Hollywood in Los Angeles, there's always movie effects that want to put fear into the audience. Maybe it's the Jaws music, dun 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 dun. That puts fear thinking the shark's coming. Maybe it's a foggy day like we just saw out there today. Whatever it might be, they get the reaction from the audience they want based on your surroundings. But is it real? And this is where I want you to think about it. You may have fear right now, but is that fear real? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of the fog? Are you afraid of that music? Are you afraid of somebody hiding behind that corner? You know, whether we're thinking of uh, Freddy or we're thinking of Jason from one of those scary movies. So often than not, if you're afraid to take action, it can stop you in your tracks. And you don't want to stop, do you? If you did, you wouldn't be watching this video right now. You want to take action. You want to make it happen. So don't let fear grab a hold of you. Don't let fear pay rent for free in your mind. I love that expression. If you let fear take you over, it's going to prevent you from succeeding and doing the things that you want to do in life. So why let fear do that to you? Start thinking about what you're so afraid of. Some of you out there just starting out may be terrified of calling a realtor because you don't know what to say. Is that arm going to come through the phone and grab you if you say the wrong thing? Heck no. But sometimes we envision it that it could, right? Don't be afraid. Practice what you're going to say before you say it. And as you do it through repetition, the first call, the third call, the fifth call, the tenth call, you'll be a lot more comfortable. And as I've often said, practice makes perfect. Practice in the mirror. Practice with a partner. Practice calling out of your area. If you live in Texas, maybe call a realtor in Nebraska. If you live in California, call one in Oregon. Or if you live in Southern California, call one in uh, Central or Northern California. Practice outside your area first. Get comfortable with what I call the lingo. Once you know the lingo, it makes you sound a little bit more like an expert and usually they will ask you less questions. The more you sound like you know, the less they might ask you initially. But then it's up to you to be that good interviewer. I always often tell people, you watch Barbara Walters interview people on TV, she gets so much out of them, they practically need a sweat towel when they're done with her. So you kind of want to be the same way. As you meet people and build your power team, stop being afraid and start asking the questions. Start asking things that are going to help build your business. Because if fear is holding you back, it's not worth it to have that take that energy away from you. Because every minute you spend on fear is a minute away from you going out there doing something positive with real estate investing. As you look at these fears, whatever they might be, I would recommend you write them down. Write them down and look at them and say, what is the worst possible thing that might happen from this fear? And then you're going to step back from it a minute and say, is that really that bad? Is that that bad of a situation if this would actually happen? And in most cases, I think you're going to realize it's not. And if you think through the entire transaction, like I'll give you another example, so many people have a fear of putting a contract in on a property because they're afraid they actually might get the property. Well, if you have an exit strategy in place, like you're going to wholesale it or you got a buyer lined up, that sort of thing, the fear goes away based on knowing what you're going to do going forward. 
as long as you have an out in that contract, it's not like you're going to get stuck with that house as long as you get out in the appropriate time frame. So always think through everything you're going to do. It's almost like a book. When you go forward, think of chapter one, but think of the content all throughout and that final chapter. What is that final chapter going to look like? Just like in your day-to-day -day routine. When you do something right now, what is that effort that you're putting in hope to achieve as an end result? And if fear is holding you back, how do you get educated? Maybe through the IE website, through DeanGrassGillsey.com, through all the products that are out here. How do you learn the information so you will not have that fear and that fear will not hold you back? You don't want to be in a fog and we don't want you in a fog. Or at least if you are in the fog, hopefully you got some fog headlamps and you can cut right through that fog just like Scooby-Doo used to do with the little knife on the uh, Saturday morning cartoons. Well, until next time, I want to tell you, go out there, clear the fog, push forward, make it happen, and believe and achieve. Take care. Bye-bye.